Hey everybody, it's Jen from Vine Styles. I hope you're doing well and that you're staying safe. We have another wine for our Friday feature. Uh, this time we're going to be trying a white wine from Bordeaux and actually an area that we don't typically see wines come from. This is Chateau Caliatou Bergeron. It is from the Blay area in Bordeaux, so it's actually 40 kilometers north of Bordeaux. Just letting you guys know, if you don't know that much about the Bordeaux region, it tends to be a moderate maritime area, which means that they typically see a lot of rain, uh, that it's very uh, moist uh, in that area. Um, I actually have another janky map. So here we have Bordeaux. And uh, we're going to be in the green area over here, which is Blay. And the city of Blay actually tends to be like right here at the edge near the Gironde River. It's 10 minutes slightly north. So it would be sitting just around here. And in 1991, the Dartier family actually took over. And then in 1992, the brother and sister, Mary Pierre and uh, Pierre Charles, actually took over the winery together, which is really cool. Mary Pierre actually was a nurse and she was in the hospital um, of Albertsville and then she worked in emergency and then she decided that she wanted to pursue um, her passion of winemaking, which is pretty neat. And then her brother, Pierre Charles, uh, he actually has an, his onology uh, diploma from Bordeaux as well. So he actually has been doing this for a very long time, uh, 1989. And since then, he's been working uh, as the winemaker and the cellar master. This wine that we're gonna be trying is called Tradition and it's 70% Sauvignon Blanc and 30% uh, Sauvignon Gris. And how many of you have actually tried a Sauvignon Gris? Because I don't think I have. Um, usually when we see wines, like especially white wines from Bordeaux, we would see a blend of uh, Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. So I'm going to assume that this wine is going to be a little bit more floral and maybe more fruit forward. They use batonnage which stirs the lees. And do you guys remember what lees are? It is dead yeast. So when they put, uh, to start the fermentation, they actually have to add some yeast, right? And uh, as it starts to go after the crush and everything, there's little bits of grapes and little bits of um, dead yeast, and it starts to float to the bottom of these big barrels or these big vats. And um, to keep the wine fresh and fruity, um, and then to also uh, contribute a little bit of creaminess, you actually stir this wine and it gives it a, this beautiful creaminess. It preserves also the fruity flavors, so it helps prevent oxidation as well. Uh, they actually have their Terra Vitis certification, which, uh, as you know, we've talked about sustainable practices in other wineries. This winery actually has their certification and I believe they've had it since 2013. This wine, the, the grapes were actually grown on sandy soils, which is really good for those aromatic varietals, right? You get, usually see Gerberts Demeanor and Muscat and you see Sauvignon Blanc on there as well because it just helps with the aromatics. So before I, I started working at Vine Styles, the brother and sister um, actually visited Vine Styles a few times. And I believe on their last visit, Natalie was saying that they actually brought something called cannoli, which is a classic French pastry. But it was really sweet of the, the brother and sister to bring it down for everybody to try last time they visited. Okay, are you guys ready to try? It's just wafting out. Woo! Oh, nice. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, right on the nose, I get lots of grapefruity sort of notes. A little bit of a yellow apple note, some citrus on there, a little bit of like almost like an apricot sort of note to it as well. 
and there's a, a slight bit of grapefruit, or uh, not grapefruit, there is grapefruit, but it's more of like a gooseberry as well. So those typical Sauvignon Blanc um, sort of aromas, right? But it, it feels more concentrated, it feels warmer as well. There's this beautiful, almost um, yogurty note to it too, and I think it has to do with that lees stirring. All right, let's sip. Oh, it's so good. Lots of flavor, lots of flavor. There is so much grapefruit on there. Oh, I'm still drilling, so high acidity. But it's so balanced, like that, that, that leaves on there is just beautiful. It just wraps it up. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, so I'm getting some grapefruity sort of notes on the palate. A little bit of like a slight lemon pith, but it's not that um, bitter but it's so soft and it's just so balanced. I get a, a little bit of an orange note, mandarin orange, so good. Um, and there's this beautiful, almost um, like floral note too. It feels so pretty. Okay, so another thing is that this wine is one of our uh, guest favorites as well. And now I understand why. There's this great acidity and yet it's so balanced. There's this beautiful concentration of fruit on there that you would be able to drink it as an aperitif, but it's also able to pair with uh, lighter dishes. So I would go with either seafood, you could go with some scallops, you could go with some oh, fish and chips with it. Uh, you can have a fruit salad, you could have your Caesar salad. Um, this is absolutely tasty and I am super happy I got to try it. So yay, all right. Well, that's it. That's all, that's the tasting. So I hope you guys enjoy and that you uh, take advantage of this excellent deal. Uh, Chateau Calietou. Uh, from Bergeron and it's from the Blay area in Bordeaux and it is a brother and sister duo and it is delicious and it's nu nutritious no I can't say it's nutritious but it's kind of like a fruit salad in a glass anyways that's what I like to tell myself uh, I hope you guys take care and that you stay safe all right bye